What's up folks? Trent Smith here with another video for you guys to help inspire y'all to get out there and live a better life with an adventure. In this video, we're going to talking about how a healthy lifestyle can improve your adventures. It really can. It's one of the biggest factors that you and I can control about our adventures and our life in general. And making improvements in this area is only going to better your life. So we're going to talk about the nutrition side of things, the fitness side of things, and then how you can implement those things and make it happen in your life. I'm also going to talk about how each of these aspects can have a negative effect on your adventures. So we're going to start this off with the most important factor, that is nutrition. I can't stress to you how important nutrition is above exercise. If you neglect your nutrition, there's a lot of things that can happen in your life and be happening in your life that can hold you back from getting out there and experiencing more adventures and a better adventure. Just hit my step goal for the day. Doing this, I guess. So how can improper nutrition affect your adventures? Well, for one thing, you could have gut issues like IBS or just stomach problems that could make you think, ah, no, I really don't need to go out on this adventure because of this and that. Well, if you change your nutrition, you can oftentimes correct those problems. If we neglect our nutrition for too long, we can develop diabetes and things like that. Or if you already have diabetes, there's actually some nutrition steps you can take that can reverse certain types of diabetes. Maybe you're a person who suffers from allergy issues. Maybe you have congestion and maybe you can't breathe well or skin issues. Well, a lot of times people can say, okay, that is from me going outside in the outdoors. Well, uh, not always. A lot of times it's the food we eat. I am living proof of that. I used to have a lot of throat issues and sinus issues. Well, I found out it was what I eat. Now I no longer consume dairy and it really changed my life. And I can go out and I can have more adventures now. Great chronic pain maybe oh my knee hurts my my shoulder hurts oh I, I'm just I'm hurting I, I can't I can't go paddling I can't go hiking I can't do all that stuff well you know yeah you you may have pains but is there an injury that's causing that pain or is it like chronic pain that could stem from inflammation now inflammation can be caused a lot of times by the food we eat and you can reduce inflammation greatly by altering the foods you eat if we're on a good nutritious diet, we can have stronger bones and healthy immune systems. So we're less likely to be injured or get injured while we're on an adventure and we will stay healthier in general so we can prepare ourselves for an adventure and go on that adventure. Whenever you have your nutrition on point, a lot of times you reduce your risk of health related illnesses or accidents like heart attacks. That would be something I would really want to avoid if I was out on an adventure, especially solo like myself. So that's one reason I try to take care of myself and eat right. One of the big things, well, no pun intended, but if you're on an improper diet, it can cause you to gain excessive weight. And this excessive weight can have multiple negative effects on you. Just the more weight on your body, that's more weight on your joints, on your feet, that's more weight that you have to carry around down the trail, or more weight that you have to get in and out of the kayak, or more weight you have to paddle down the river, things like that, it can really make a difference. Excess weight can also increase your chances of an injury with a fall. Maybe you, you know, are on a precarious situation and you get out of balance and you either fall out of your kayak or you uh, fall as you're walking down a trail or you fall crawling up the riverbank or something like that. We want to try to avoid those and having excess weight can make those tasks more difficult and more dangerous. Whenever you have more weight to carry, you have to expend more energy to carry that weight, whether it's on your back or on your body or in your kayak. So if you have less weight, you can go further, you can go faster. It's easier for you to go out there and experience an adventure. I could go on and on about the benefits of nutrition, but I think I've hit some of the high points. So now let's focus on the fitness side of things. How can fitness improve your adventures and even make them safer for yourself and those around you? Oftentimes adventures come with different rigors and different difficulties and being more physically fit can help you avoid these like rolled ankles or maybe muscle injuries from overuse or from underuse and then you overuse it on the adventure. When you make your body stronger, you're able to go further, you're able to go faster, you're able to go more efficiently. So if you're paddling all day, you can wake up the next day and be like, okay, I can paddle a little more instead of waking up and saying, oh my goodness, I cannot move, get that paddle away from me. Often, whenever you train in the fitness realm, you gain a better sense of balance, a better sense of body awareness. And so you're safer whenever you're traversing the trails or paddling on the kayak or standing on the paddleboard. You're just safer in general and less likely to fall, which will lead to an injury, which is not good during your adventure. Let's say we get into a hairy situation, like a fight or flight situation, where you're actually fighting for your life, which can happen. Uh, it doesn't happen very often, uh, so to speak, in the uh, 
you know, recreation, adventure, <laughs> lifestyle, but you never know. You could find yourself in one of those situations where your physical fitness can determine whether you come home or not, right? I mean, you know, what if you have to swim a long way? What if you have to uh, run? What if you have to literally fight for your life, whether that be an animal or a person? You never know what could happen out there. So just being better physically fit and better prepared, it might be the difference maker one day. And that goes not only for adventures, but in general life as well. Another thing, being more physically fit can make your adventures more enjoyable. You'll be able to go out and put in those miles and carry that pack or paddle that kayak all those miles or paddle against the wind or hit those rapids a second time or whatever you want to do or you know, climb up that cliff and jump off or hit that rope swing. You can enjoy your adventures to the fullest. And also, you'll be more inclined to kind of broaden your adventures, whatever you want to do. Maybe you want to go rock climbing. Maybe you want to, uh, I don't know, go scuba diving or free diving or some other crazy stuff that would, you just think is so much fun. If you're not in a physically fit state to do that, you're never going to consider those options. But if you are, you'll be like, you know what? I think I can do that. I think I can go and, and have that experience because experience is what it's all about. Okay, Trip. so you've convinced me. I need to start eating better and I need to get a little physically fit. Well, where do I start, Trip? What do you know? I've tried and tried and I can't do it. Well, it's really pretty simple. Let's start with nutrition. All right, one of the most basic and easiest things you can do is just be sure that whatever you put in your body is beneficial to your body. We all know what really isn't good for us and what mm, probably is good for us, right? So if you can reduce sugars and grains, if you can do those two things, you're going to make a big difference. If you can eliminate those things, wow, you've done a huge step. And yet yeah, it sounds simple, but if you start to think about it, those two things, they don't do anything beneficial for your body. They don't help your body perform. They don't help your body live and be healthy. So if you can cut those out, big game changer there. That's a good first step. And when you cut out sugar and grains, you really don't even have to worry about counting calories because what you're going to be eating is going to be good and healthy for you. That's going to eliminate a lot of your processed foods. That's going to just eliminate all of your desserts, you know, all the pastries, all the nonsense that is making your body this uh, inefficient machine. And when it comes to fitness, it's pretty simple. All I have to do is just get moving, do something. You know, I don't know what your activity level is now, but if you can just improve your activity level and do things that you enjoy, you know, join a gym, find a accountability partner, get in there with someone and do something you enjoy. Just try and learn and study about the subject and the, the types of exercising that you enjoy. Start learning, start doing, get to moving. And when you couple your nutrition and your diet together, you're going to want, you're going to crave, or I don't know, I do. Uh, you may not, but, but, but I believe that whenever we start taking these first steps and we stick to it, we want to learn more. Whenever we start seeing the benefits and how our life is changing, we're going to crave it more and more. And you'll grow, reach out there and you will learn more and you will do more. You'll improve more and you'll live a better life. Now in some future videos, I'll be covering more of my philosophy when it comes to fitness and when it comes to nutrition. But right now, I just want to get you folks started. I'm going to give you a little taste, a little nudge there like, hey, I want you to be the better you, the best you you can be to go out and live the adventure. So what step are you going to do? Let me know in the comments, how are you going to improve your life to better improve your adventures? I'd love to hear from you. Hey, if you're not subscribed, please do. And I hope you are looking forward to the next adventure, the next video, just as much as I am. Take care. God bless.